Welcome back to the channel, folks. This is Jason, host of Fighting Words Financial. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about something that folks in my Patreon group have been bringing up recently, and that is the GPU industry. Some of you may have heard about it, and some of you may not have. GPU stands for Graphical Processing Unit and refers to the little processors that are embedded inside of all of your smartphones, your tablets, and a lot of your computers, and they create the visuals that you see on your screens. GPUs are incredibly important to our everyday lives as without them, we wouldn't be able to do things like have our Zoom meetings or play video games on our computers. A recent report by Allied Market Research stated that the global GPU market was worth roughly $19.75 billion in 2019 and is expected to grow to over $200 billion by 2027. That translates to a compound annual growth rate of over 33%. This industry is growing quickly. The importance of GPUs really can't be overstated as these types of processors are being used more and more in a variety of different types of equipment. Some examples where GPUs are finding use are in medical equipment, automobiles, Bitcoin mining, and artificial intelligence. There is one GPU company, of course, that is leading the pack right now in terms of size and innovation. You may have heard of it from people who play video games as they're often associated with the video game industry, but that is certainly not all that this company does. And today, folks, the company I'd like to talk about is NVIDIA. Let's talk a little bit about the history of NVIDIA here because it is useful and it demonstrates that this company is good at surviving and good at innovating. If you guys recall, I made a video a few months ago on the American auto industry where I demonstrated that you know there were roughly 1,600 auto companies that were founded between 1900 and 1940, you know, auto manufacturers, and all but one of those went out of business. NVIDIA has already gone through a similar process with GPU manufacturers. Now, NVIDIA is an American tech company that's based in California that designs GPUs for various markets. They were founded all the way back in 1993, and NVIDIA's creators really had the foresight to believe that the PC would one day be in everybody's homes and everyone would use them to enjoy a variety of different forms of entertainment. So when they began, uh, there were already two dozen GPU firms in operation, and just three years later, after, you know, in 1996, there were 70 companies making GPUs out there. But by early 2006, this grand winnowing process that always happens in a technological revolution had basically occurred, and NVIDIA was really the last man standing. They were the only one of those 70 or so companies that was still in operation. This staying power displayed by the firm is one of the major reasons that they are in their monstrous position that they're in today. They've constantly innovated and they've always ensured that they're keeping up with the latest trends. Computing. In my opinion, one of the key points in NVIDIA's journey was their partnership way back in 2000 with Microsoft Xbox. This allowed them to be used in all of Xbox game consoles and essentially to dominate the video game market in terms of GPUs. So at this point in the video, some of you folks might be thinking, is NVIDIA essentially just a video game company then? And I can assure you folks that this is not the case. Aside from having their GPUs and video game consoles, NVIDIA products are also being used in various high-end laptops, tablets, and in other applications. In fact, as far back as 2010, NVIDIA was already managing to power some of the world's fastest supercomputers. And I think this really shows kind of the power of their brand and the success of their product line. Throughout the 2010s, NVIDIA also started something else. They began to delve really deeply into the artificial intelligence space. Essentially, they started developing deep learning supercomputers. Um, you know, these supercomputers are now used by top scientists all over the world to explore the possibilities for artificial intelligence and to solve really complex problems. I'm a big fan of the innovation that NVIDIA has shown. Rather than allowing themselves to be shoehorned into the video game industry, they've branched out and really solidified their position in various other sectors at this point. So what's NVIDIA doing right now and what makes NVIDIA a great investment for you know, the future? Well, quite frankly, folks, the possibilities are kind of endless right now with this company. And that's not necessarily because of NVIDIA themselves. It's because GPUs are pretty soon going to be in pretty much everything that we use in our daily lives. Now, NVIDIA's share price more than doubled in 2020. Uh, it was a phenomenon that I don't think anyone predicted, but it reached an all-time high in November. And at the time of this recording, it's reached another all-time high. Their share price was at $610 the last time I checked. But why is this? Well, some of it has to do with their expansion into data centers. 
Revenue from data center related businesses almost tripled in 2020 for NVIDIA, reaching nearly $2 billion. Furthermore, their earnings from this sector are growing at a much faster rate than their video game sales. But NVIDIA is not just stopping at data centers. As I mentioned previously throughout the past decade, NVIDIA has begun exploring and expanding into that AI space. This has begun to bear fruit in an indirect way, as a lot of large funds now are interested in investing in the company due to their AI offerings. One of the lead investors at Polar Capital Technology Trust stated recently that NVIDIA is one of the core ways that they are getting exposure in the AI market, which I think is high praise indeed. When I'm discussing AI here, I'm not just talking about robots, and especially if you watch my channel, you know that this is probably connected back to electric vehicles. So I'm really talking about self-driving cars here, smart factories, and of course, medical uses and uh, part of the genomic revolution. The possibilities for this type of technology are really quite endless. I believe that this is a key reason that we're gonna see NVIDIA potentially become one of the largest companies in the world in the next decade. So what's next for NVIDIA stock? Is it gonna continue rocketing upwards? As mentioned earlier, the stock price is currently sitting at an all-time high, which is great for NVIDIA investors like myself. Analysts have predicted that NVIDIA's sales will exceed $16 billion in 2020, rising to over $19 billion in 2021. Earnings per share is also expected to rise from 5.79 in 2019 to roughly 9.71 in 2020. This is an incredible level of growth for a company that's already this large. I like to use earnings per share estimates with more mature companies when conducting an analysis as it's a great indicator of value and they essentially allow us to assess how well a firm creates profit for its shareholders. A higher EPS usually means a more profitable company. Nvidia's market cap is currently valued at 334 billion. This is a crazy increase considering that it was only $100 billion in June of 2019. But what does this all mean for the stock price going forward? As you may have heard me say before, I don't really like to give price estimates on this channel for a variety of reasons, but I do like to look at other people's price estimates. Uh, you know, some of the top analysts in this industry have set an upper range price target of $700 per share for this company by the end of 2021. I don't think that's an unreasonable assessment at all, especially considering their earnings growth potential. But I do like to look at both sides of the argument on this channel too, and there are some analysts out there who say that this type of growth just isn't sustainable. And at some point there has to be a correction. When that correction occurs, of course, is going to be anyone's guess, but it's certainly something to keep in mind. So to wrap it up here, folks, when I'm looking at NVIDIA, I think it's wise, just like you do with Tesla, to not think of them as simply one type of company. Like NVIDIA is not just a video game company, it's really a tech company with their hands in a lot of different cookie jars at this point. Their forays into the data center and AI businesses are what's going to be the key drivers of their success going forward over the next couple of years. Right now, the hype around NVIDIA is at an all-time high with many investors piling on as they see that stock rocketing up. You know, my motto is invest in the company and not in the stock, meaning I really don't want to consider some of the short term run up in stock that we've had. I want to look at their potential for growth into the future. And I genuinely do believe that NVIDIA is a very solid company with a large potential to grow even further. So definitely keep an eye on the stock, folks, as we go throughout the year. Anyway, guys. Thanks for tuning into my channel. The support you've shown uh, recently has been great and I love all the discussion in the comments. Make sure to let me know what your thoughts are on NVIDIA. And lastly, please make sure to like and subscribe, uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel. It does help out the channel a lot. Thank you and I look forward to seeing you next time.